Hi, everybody. This is Craig, the water guy. Hey, I've got over 33 years experience in the water treatment industry, and I want to go over uh, potassium chloride water softener with you today. Uh, I'm very familiar with potassium chloride. Uh, years ago, uh, uh, I was doing a, uh, a job for a large auto mall uh, over in uh, Northern California, Santa Rosa, California, that you all might have heard of uh, after that big fire they had over there a few years ago. Uh, so uh, a friend of mine uh, was uh, had a, uh, a landscaping contract with them, and one of the major complaints they had out there is they, they were on their own uh, on their own commercial well out there, and the water was extremely hard. And uh, every time the sprinklers would go off, it would uh, it would basically spot all their new cars up after they just spent a bunch of money having them all washed and detailed up for them. So it was a big issue for them because they want to keep their cars looking good, obviously, to sell them. Uh, so I was contacted. I went out there and I looked at the situation. And uh, this is before potassium chloride was uh, was really well known in the industry as far as using it for uh, water softeners. Okay. And uh, so uh, I was looking at the situation. I'm like, well, we need to do a water softener to uh, keep these cars from spotting up every time your sprinklers go off. But we can't use salt uh, in the water softener because it'll, it'll basically burn your lawns because sodium will burn lawns in most cases. And you want to keep your grounds looking nice and green, obviously. So uh, I started doing uh, some research. Uh, and what I found was a, uh, a three-year study done through Dr. Lynn Wu at University of Davis, California, where they did uh, – uh, Using potassium and water softeners and using the regenerated water to irrigate with different turf grasses and plants and stuff like that. And they did a different, uh, different uh, amounts of potassium and uh, did all kinds of different studies on that. And the studies actually came out very favorable. Uh, most of your turf plants, uh, turf grasses and plants actually did better. Use a regenerated water from a softener using potassium chloride as well as uh, water from a softener using uh, potassium chloride to irrigate with uh, different turf grasses. And what they found is that the potassium chloride coming from a water softener was actually a fertilizer to most turf grasses and plants. So they actually uh, did very well, uh, better than they did without uh, having. So uh, we went ahead and installed a commercial water softener for them, and uh, that system is still running today, and it's been over 20 years. And uh, we use a potassium chloride uh, still today to regenerate the system. The downfall of the potassium chloride these days is that potassium chloride, as you can see here, has gone up to $32, $33 a bag, uh, all the way to $29 a bag. Uh, it's gotten extremely expensive. Uh, oh, 20 years ago, when I when I first start uh, using potassium chloride and water softeners, not just for them, but after that, I start using it for a lot of different customers in different areas, uh, especially if they had to irrigate with their soft water, uh, or if they were just concerned about putting the small amount of sodium that softeners do put in the water, uh, they would go with potassium chloride. So. Uh, back then, it was running around uh, $8, $9 a bag, and regular salt was around $2.50 to $3 a bag. Now, you're looking at that $29 to $32 a bag for potassium chloride because of the manufacturing process, I guess, has gotten extremely expensive. And salt has actually over tripled in price or at least doubled in price as well, but this has really gone way up. So for your average person out there, if you're just using a standard downflow softer like a Fleck water softer or a Clack water softer or calling it or any of those other water softers out there that are downflow water softers, you're gonna it's gonna cost you a fortune to operate those systems. Okay. So uh quality water treatment at qualitytreatment.com, which is us, uh, we have a system that's a uh, downflow, I mean, an upflow water softener. It's a uh, high efficiency with new age technology uh, called the Soft Pro. And the Soft Pro water softener is, is designed, engineered uh, by the second largest water treatment manufacturer in the world. We have branded it under our brand name. 
but the system in general is actually built uh, for a lot of different companies under different brands. The nice thing about this system, because of the technology that it has, it uses 75% less salt or potassium uh, and 64% less water per regeneration than your standard downflow water softeners. So if you want to use potassium chloride with this system, it's still going to be pretty feasible for you. Uh, the average savings uh, for a family of four besides the system properly using, using salt uh, is $220 per year in savings. So if you if you use a potassium chloride, that saving goes way up. Uh, but again, it, it makes it a lot more feasible for you because it's going to go through a lot less salt. Uh, just to give you an idea, if you size the system properly, uh, let's say it's a 32,000 grain system, uh, which is a pretty typical size. The system is going to regenerate an average of every seven days, to, to depend on your usage. Okay, but let's just go every seven days. This uh, 32,000 grade upflow soft pro softener uh, uses six pounds of salt per regeneration. Your standard downflow softeners like Fluck and Clock and Calling in, for instance, for that same size system uses 15 pounds of salt per regeneration. So a lot more, 15 pounds versus only six pounds. Okay. So if you're regenerating every seven days, uh, let's just go a 28-day month, that's four regenerations per month. So you're looking at 24 pounds of potassium chloride per month, uh, which is basically almost a half a bag. So now your uh, your monthly uh, upkeep on that softer water softener is going to be roughly $15 a month in comparison to a downflow water softener like Clack and Fleck and Colligan, for instance is going to cost you uh, closer to that uh, that $30 mark, okay, uh, or, or more. So it's a big savings there, folks. So, again, you could use potassium chloride still. If you have the application that uh, you have to use it, then go ahead and use it. Uh, but just make sure you get the soft pro water softener and the high-efficiency high water softeners so it doesn't uh, kill your bank account to, uh, to upkeep the system. I hope that helps you folks out and have a great day.